By now, we've got a good idea of what's inside a cell. But remember that in multicellular organisms, cells are organized into tissues. How do the cells in a tissue stick together? The answer is a complex structure called the extracellular matrix. Its importance is obvious if we consider what happens when cells don't stick together. Some kinds of cancer can be treated with surgery. But cancer cells don't always stick together like normal tissue cells. They can break through the extracellular matrix and make their way to nearby blood vessels. Once inside the circulatory system, the cell can travel almost anywhere in the body and establish a new secondary tumor. The extracellular matrix plays several other important roles. The extracellular matrix influences the rigidity and elasticity of several important tissues and organs. Skin, blood vessels, tendons, lungs, and other organs. The extracellular matrix also affects the development of cells and tissues in embryos and fetuses. Let's take a closer look at the structure of the extracellular matrix so we can better understand its function. Cells have a network of microfilaments, part of the cytoskeleton, just inside the plasma membrane. Proteins called integrins span the plasma membrane. They interact with the microfilaments on the cytoplasmic side and with a protein called fibronectin on the extracellular side. Together, integrins and fibronectin promote cell adhesion, migration, and changes in cell shape. The fibronectin molecules associate with collagen fibers outside the cell. These fibers are formed by cross-linking collagen molecules, which are proteins with a triple helical structure. Finally, the collagen fibers are anchored in place by proteoglycans, large molecules containing both protein and carbohydrate. 